Hello, you guys. Good morning. Well, it is morning where I am right now. Today, the light is changing. I'm gonna sit down because today we are doing a little bit different of a video. Kind of the same, but kind of different. Let me sit you down. Okay, so today we are doing a full day of drinking video. So I usually do full days of eating here on this channel. I'm intuitive eating dietitian. I teach you how to stop dieting and how to live with no food rules. And today I wanted to focus on the hydration aspect of it because there's so many similarities in terms of intuitive eating and intuitive drinking. I mean, hydration, it's part of nourishing our body, right? So I kind of wanted to focus on that today. I also hate water. I hate drinking plain water. I have it here and I'll explain why. I just kind of wanted to show you how I intuitively hydrate my body. So if you are excited about this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you are new here we talk about all things non-diet intuitive eating no food rules and let's get into it also be sure to stick around to the end because at the end i'm going to answer a lot of your hydration frequently asked questions like how much do we need what counts as water we're going to go through all that at the end so this morning i started off as i usually do with coffee on my way to the gym this morning so i fill this up and I drink that on my way there. And then when I was at the gym, I had, I ran this morning, I had some water. I'd say like I had about like half my water bottle. And then on the way out, they just started a couple weeks ago having coffee at the gym. So they usually have like a regular and then a flavor. So today it was Michigan cherry and I put a little sugar and creamer in them. Guys, you have permission to do that, to drink calories, it is fine. I find that drinking that is just super, super satisfying when you want it. So put some of that in there. And I have a whole video I did last week on my caffeine intake. And I would say this is like a little over, maybe about halfway. So I would probably say in total today, maybe I've had like, I would say I would have like a quarter of this left. So I am doing good with my caffeine intake compared to what I was doing. I will link that full video for you guys. So did that and then now i am getting ready to start the work day and what i usually do is i start with just a cup of plain water and i bring that downstairs with me and then i see how far i get some days drinking water is fine and some days i will honestly come back up and have hardly touched this so that's what i start with and then from there i'll show you i kind of like will add flavorings or stuff depending on on how i'm feeling so that's what we are starting with now so i'm going to go downstairs get to work and i will loop back with you probably mid-morning and we'll see where we're at so we are checking back in i brought this down with me and i am almost finished with it i think for i, I feel thirsty today I feel like a little bit more than usual. You guys are just catching me on a thirsty day. But I do think that in terms of hydration, like for me, definitely like out of sight, out of mind. If I, there are definitely days where I forget to fill this up or I do have, I'll show you. I have, I have this one in a video too. Hi, I usually alternate back and forth between that cup and then this big one, just cause I find that if I can like change that up, it just makes drinking water a little more interesting. So yeah, if I, if there are days when I don't, I might add a little like squeezy flavor thing in here, which I'll sit down and show you guys those later. But I'm doing pretty good with plain water right now. So I'm just going to fill this up. It's like mid morning right now. I'm gonna fill this again up and then I'll check back with you again later. So I got like halfway through it and I was like, I am thirsty, but I don't want to drink plain water. So I added some raspberry lemonade to it. Okay guys, so it is the evening time now. So throughout the afternoon, I had one of these sparkling waters from Aldi. Passion fruit kind is the best. So I had one of those throughout the afternoon. I don't think there was anything else. The last thing we caught up on was the this, which I want to show you guys. This is what I want to show you. My brain is like dead at the end of the day. Um, so this is just my little like water flavory thing that I usually have. So I added just, these are just Aldi brand raspberry lemonade packets. That's what I added earlier today. We just have some fun, like squeezy things. So I, I'm kind of thirsty right now. I also kind of want something a little more flavorful. This is, I'm going to have another one of these. Sometimes I have two, it's fine. So I'm going to open this. 
sometimes what I like to do is add a couple, these are a little flavorful, but not like super flavorful. So sometimes I just like to add a little bit more of these squeezy bottles. So you can just go ahead and do that and just add a little more pizzazz to it. Oh my gosh. Oops, oops. Anywho, that's what I'm going to, I don't know if I'm gonna drink the full thing because I'm probably gonna have to get up and pee in the middle of the night. So I might like drink like half this, put it in the fridge and it'll be there for me tomorrow. I don't love doing that because the carbonation goes away. So that's what I'm going to have to round out the day. I never like tally everything up. Maybe I'll do that to see where I'm just at on a day where it ranks to water needs. I also did, I didn't show you guys today, had some watermelon. That's another thing that we'll talk about when we get to the Q and A part of this, about what counts as water. Cause it's not just from the stuff that we drink. So we'll chat about that tomorrow. I'm gonna film that. So that's what we're having today. I'm gonna go drink this and I will catch you back for the hydration Q and A. Okay guys, so now I want to answer some of your hydration and water FAQs. So how much water do you need? Many factors impact how much water you need, including your age, your gender, your activity level, and your overall health. Women require more water during pregnancy and while they're breastfeeding. Individuals with certain health conditions, such as congestive heart failure or renal disease, also have different fluid needs. So this also goes for serious infections or cases of diarrhea. Adequate intake levels of water have been determined for general really healthy people and are based on age and gender. So for women, recommended amount of water intake is about 11 and a half cups a day and 15 and a half cups for men. Now these estimates do include water consumed from both food and beverages. And you typically get about 20% of your water needs from the foods that you eat. So taking that into consideration, women will need about nine cups a day from fluids and men about 12 and a half. So how do you know exactly? I get it. It's kind of like the answer is it depends. It's a non-answer. So what I recommend is really just starting with those recommendations and then seeing what feels good to you and then adjusting. So does this feel like way too much water? Does it feel like not enough? This is kind of just a starting point for you. They're not hard and fast rules. Take note of any changes that you might experience, such as if you are sweating more, if you're traveling, you're in a different environment, you have new health circumstances, et cetera. Your hydration needs may also likely be adjusted in those instances. So there is no right or wrong answer, just that you need to listen to your body, right? The Athletic Trainers Association position statement does state, this is important, that most individuals can avoid fluid balance problems by drinking when thirsty and during and after exercise and eating a well-rounded diet. It really can be that easy. So what counts as water? You don't need to rely on plain water to meet your fluid needs. What you eat, like I said, provides about 20% of our water needs. That's a decent portion. Fruits and veggies are going to have hydration, especially things like watermelon, cucumbers, spinach. Also other beverages do count. So like milk, juice, herbal teas, those things all count. And those are also going to be comprised of mostly water. And yes, even caffeinated beverages like coffee or caffeinated tea or soda, those can contribute to your water intake also. And sparkling water, I love that stuff. It doesn't have to be just plain water. So let's talk about caffeine for a second. So does it really dehydrate you? That morning cup of joe or the caffeinated tea. So usually it gets a bad reputation when it comes to hydration. And a lot of people say it's because of the diuretic effect, meaning that the caffeinated beverage makes you pee. But the reality is that those options, they can contribute to your water intake. So the diuretic effect that comes along with drinking coffee and other beverages, it likely means that you are still going to get some fluids, right? Even though you might be taking more trips to the bathroom. It's not like it's an even what you take in, you're gonna pee out, okay? It's important to think, okay, how much actually am I losing here versus gaining? Research shows that even if you consume four cups a day of coffee, 
it'll provide you with a similar hydrating effect of water. So it shouldn't be the overall focus, but it will contribute. So if you have coffee in the morning, it's going to give you some hydration. It's not that it just, like I said, cancels out because of the diuretic effect. So what do you do if you don't have thirst cues? Water or thirst cues are a lot like hunger cues. So sometimes we need to wake them up a little bit, which I go over in more detail how to do in the society where I do all of my coaching and where you learn how to make peace with food. So if you, you may not ever feel thirsty right away if you're constantly Constantly under hydrated. So giving your body consistent water intake can help you get those cues back. Now, what about the question? Can I make a hydration goal or is that a food rule? I think it's absolutely okay to make a hydration goal like those recommendations that we talked about. However, we want to avoid making it a rule. So how do you do this? You first remember why you're doing it in the first place, right? And you give yourself 180% permission not to do it. You really don't have to, to be honest. You should feel okay if you don't meet that goal. It shouldn't be this all encompassing stress anxiety that a food rule would have, but it's okay to say, I wanna see if, you know, having this many water bottles a day, does that make me feel good? But if you get halfway through the day and you're like, that is so unrealistic, or I don't wanna do that, like I said, have permission to not. I hope this video was helpful for you and maybe gave you some different ideas of how to hydrate your body and maybe answered some of your big hydration questions. When you get rid of your food rules and you become an intuitive eater, not only do you tune into your hunger and your fullness cues more, but you also tune into your total body awareness and that includes your thirst cues. I remember when I didn't have any thirst cues and I couldn't feel the difference when I was hydrated versus when I wasn't. And this ability to do that, it comes with time and it's exactly what I chat about here on this channel and teach you how to do it step-by-step -step in the society. To live a life with no food rules and to feel better mentally and physically. Like I said, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to leave a comment below letting me know. Share it with a friend who might also love it. And maybe you guys can hold each other's hands, keep each other accountable on your no food rules journey. And if you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. And with that, I'll see you guys later.